Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a product I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about and it's a little bit misunderstood. So I'm here to clear things up for you and show you how to use the product in the best way for your skin. Stay tuned. So there are a number of different ways that you can use Hollywood Flawless Filter. The first one that I'm going to show you is my personal favorite way to use the product. So I love to use Hollywood Flawless Filter on my no makeup makeup days. So these are days where I want to put on a little bit of makeup, I want to pull myself together a little bit, but I don't want to spend a lot of time getting ready, I don't want to look like I have a full face of makeup on. So what I like to do is just fill in my brows, put on a little bit of mascara, add a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes, and what I'll do is take the Hollywood Flawless Filter and apply it onto the high points of my face. So tops of my cheekbones, right above my brow, a little bit on my chin. What Hollywood Flawless Filter does is it reflects light. So it's almost like a highlighter that doesn't have any glitter or anything in it. It gives a wet look to the skin. So it's gonna bring light to the areas of the face where you apply the product. So by placing it on the high points of my face, the product is gonna catch the light as I move throughout the day and just look really beautiful and pretty and natural. Make me look like I've drank my water for the day. Make me look like I've eaten all my vegetables. Just make me look really healthy and fresh. So once I have applied the flawless filter onto the high points of my face, I'll take my concealer that's the same color as my skin tone and I will apply that on any blemishes that need covering. Just a little side note, my skin has been terrible since we came to Thailand. I'm starting to get it under control a little bit, but it's pretty bad in this video, so I'm sorry about that. After I've covered up the blemishes with a little bit of concealer, I'm good to go, I'm out the door. I'm gonna post a couple of photos from my Instagram where I'm wearing the product in this way. You can really see the way the sun catches the product. The photos are from the golden hour, which is sunset. You can really see the way the sun bounces off the flawless filter and gives a really beautiful glow. I also like to use a flawless filter on my body. So I'll put it on the high points of my body. I'll add it to my shoulders, I'll add it to my collarbone, just to give me a really beautiful glow sort of all over. The second way to use Hollywood Flawless Filter is all over the face, similar to how you would wear a foundation. I should mention I have oily skin. It's getting less oily now than it was a few years ago, but I'm definitely still on the oily side. That's one of the reasons why I only like to wear the flawless filter on the high points of my face is because if I were to wear it all over my face like I'm going to talk about in this next method I would feel like an oil slick by the end of the day the all over method of using the flawless filter is going to be best for those of you who have dry skin normal skin that want to look really glowy or more mature skin so you can apply a flawless filter all over as if it were a foundation you can go ahead and apply concealer underneath your eyes cover up any blemishes that you have and be out the door this is similar to the way that I wear the flawless filter. I just don't like to have the product all over. It's just too much for me. The look is a little bit too editorial, especially once my natural oils start coming through. Another reason I don't like to wear the product like this is because I have acne prone skin. It picks up on the texture in my skin and I feel like it emphasizes it. So wearing the flawless filter all over is gonna be really great for those who have a normal skin type with really perfect skin. I used it this way on clients when I was working at the counter who had skin like this and the product was absolutely amazing. They could not not buy it after they saw their skin looking the way that it looked. This is definitely a great way to wear the product if you have those skin types that I mentioned. So another way to use Hollywood Flawless Filter is as a primer. You can put it underneath a foundation. The glow will be more subtle than it would be if you were wearing it all over on its own because the foundation is sort of dimming it down a little bit, but the Flawless Filter will still shine through from underneath. This gives a really beautiful poreless kind of effect to the skin, but just be aware that if you're using it like a primer, it's not like the kind of primer that's going to help your makeup stay on longer. This product doesn't set. So any makeup that you put on top of it, it's going to prevent it from setting as opposed to making your makeup last longer. This is going to actually reduce the wear time of your makeup. However, if you have dry skin, mature skin, if you only need to wear your makeup for a couple of hours and look really great, this is a great way to use the product. The other way that I like to wear a flawless filter is mixed in with my foundation. Typically, the more full coverage foundations are, the more matte they are. We would have people coming into the counter all of the time saying they were looking for a full coverage, dewy foundation. These things don't really exist. If you know of some, you can leave them down below for me, but typically, 
I would say in most cases, the more full coverage your foundation, the more matte it's going to be. So if you're wanting to wear a full coverage foundation, but you want it to be glowy, you can mix your Hollywood Flawless Filter in with your foundation. In the clip, I'm using my favorite foundation of all time, the Dior Forever. It is very full coverage and very matte. So what I do is I just mix a little bit of the Flawless Filter in with my foundation on the back of my hand and then apply it to my skin like I normally would. And this is going to give the foundation a beautiful glow while still maintaining the coverage of your foundation. I also find that this doesn't emphasize the texture on my skin too much. However, again, it does reduce the wear time of my foundation. I also like to apply a little bit underneath my eyes. I saw Samantha Ravindal do this on her YouTube channel. I try to keep it in this lower portion of my eye. I don't like to bring it too close to the lash line because the product doesn't set. Once you blink and your mascara touches the flawless filter underneath your eyes, the oil from the flawless filter will mix with your mascara and it will cause your mascara to transfer. Another key thing with flawless filter is to not use powders with this product. Definitely do not use it over top of powders. It's going to start breaking up those powders immediately and you're gonna make a mess of your makeup if you do that. Also, you don't wanna set your face with any powders. I used a powder bronzer and a little bit of powder blush and that's the most powder that I would use with this product. It's gonna make a mess if you use too much powder with it. So definitely avoid using powder with this product as much as you can. Another reason why for people who have oily skin, it's better to just use it in targeted areas because then you can powder through your T-zone, use powder products on the rest of your face, and you don't have to worry about the product breaking up. Finally, you can use Hollywood Flawless Filter, just like a traditional cream highlighter, over top of your foundation. So here I am applying it to the high points of my face that I want to bring light to and blending it in with my beauty blender. Using Flawless Filter as a highlighter on top of foundation is gonna work best over top of a dewy foundation or a satin foundation. It doesn't work very well over top of matte foundations because you get the similar problem that you get when you're using powders. It will break up on you. So I hope this video was helpful for those of you who are interested in picking up the product, I definitely recommend it. Depending on your skin type, you can use it in these different ways and you're gonna get beautiful results. In the end, it is a complexion booster that is gonna make your skin look beautiful. You just wanna use it the way that's best for your skin type. I just wanna let you guys know I love the Flawless Filter. At first, I wasn't sure because I wasn't using the product properly, but as I got to experiment with it more on myself and on clients as well, I found it to be extremely beautiful. The way it highlights the skin without any glitter or reflect is really stunning very natural and it just gives the skin such a beautiful glow it's really hard not to like it thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below you can ask me questions about any Charlotte Tilbury products I'm gonna have the answer for you or if you have any specific questions about flawless filter maybe you bought it and you don't know how to use it write your question down below for me I will get back to you I've been uploading pretty regularly on my channel just about every three days so Definitely hit subscribe if you want to check out more videos from me in the coming days. I've been doing lots of travel videos about my time here. I've done a few different makeup videos. So if those are the types of videos that you like to watch, then definitely hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on what I have coming up. Finally, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That really helps to get the video around so that more people can see it. Bye guys.